Hello, this is Volker Meissner, I'm the host of the Masterclass and I'd like to introduce the next two units, number four and number five, because they are a bit different than the other ones. Um, in, the, in the first three units we learned how to focus on diseases like diabetes or ADHD or also immune, uh, in, um, immune diseases, autoimmune diseases. But now we change with our few. We also uh, turn a bit towards a disease like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's but we now learn to understand the major differences between the mainstream regular medical approaches which are very significant and the more holistic alternative approach. We will learn that, we will learn that both have to be acknowledged and brought together to make sense for the clients. So within now, now the units four and five, we, let's say, exceed a line. And we will go back to talk about diabetes, as I mentioned already, because diabetes is very different from that what is known about so far. So we will have it back in number five when we uh, talk about severe conditions. In unit number four and number five, we will talk about mainstream diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and Hashimoto's and whatever. And we are talking about the reasons so many people are uh, turning towards these diseases. Of course, there is some maybe genetic part, like in Alzheimer's, you have this apolipoprotein E. E4 and E3, which puts you, let's say, statistically on the risk to improve uh, Alzheimer's. But on the other hand, there's always a way out, even though there's a genetic carry imprint that you have a risk or a chance, as you see it, to uh, get this disease. There's always a way out. So there's nothing fixed, it's nothing, uh, you, that's not a stamp on it that you have to get it. So why are so many people getting Alzheimer's or getting Parkinson's or getting other things of autoimmune diseases? So let's talk about first of those who are not responsible for their reasons. This toxic environment for example. There are a lot of diseases, uh, I think hundreds of diseases, that you generate when you live in a toxic environment, when you are exposed to savage, to toxins, heavy metals, to glyphosate, to, to most of these things. So sometimes you are not under control of where you live because you are a child or, or you are in, in a job and you don't even know that, there are, you know that you are exposed to these things. So the toxic environments play a big role in developing such diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or diabetes or any, any autoimmune disease. But there are other things. And toxic environment, you have learned already, toxic environment also includes toxic relationships. Relationship in the job, in the partnership, in the family, in the community. So you have to identify these toxins, the subtle and the tangible toxins. But there are many, many people who are or develop diseases because of their belief systems. And Alzheimer's and Parkinson's are one of the most significant ones where you can really track back these patients to their belief systems. And once they get rid, when they can really let go their belief systems, then they do not need anymore to escape into these diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. So we will learn a lot how to approach patients in a, let's say, a really perfect way to take them serious. But we have to deal with them. We have to offer them solutions. And in the units one to three, 
we had solutions. We could put this in the information field, we could talk to our patients, deal with them, then we can have a, a solution and they will develop. The autoimmune uh, diseases are, let's say, the, the, the part, the in-between, the intermediate part. And now we come really to the serious cases. And there is a, a book from uh, Dr. Bredesen, um, The End of Alzheimer's. This is a very comprehensive book. It's more looking to the physical, scientific side. It's also looking to, um, let's say, to how people ex ex um, express Alzheimer's. But now we have to go forward. We have to look what belief systems are behind that. And then we can have a conclusion and then we find the very specific solution for the given patient. So I invite you to expand your knowledge, not only, but also to expand your thinking about how to approach a very complex disease represented uh, like Alzheimer's. This will be a new step and there will be two videos for each unit, as you know. The one is the more um, theoretical thing, explaining the uh, regular medical approach and the holistic alternative approach. Then there will be the application for the time of systems, for time of mid and the pro software. And there will be a th another unit, the unit number six, which is a bonus unit free of charge for those who have purchased the entire masterclass. This will be, let's say, the comprehensive unit that brings all the inputs from number one to five together to make to enable you to find solutions for almost any given disease because you find the tracks behind. You go to the roots and you are not blinded by the symptoms of the disease itself. You are looking at the picture behind. And I think after unit five you will be able to do this yourself and number six will just help you a bit or take some work for you and you can really be set to have a very specific but wide opened approach to any disease, to any chronic disease your patients have. I'm looking forward to learn from you and from, from your comments when you have read and, and uh, watched videos from number four, which will come in the next days. But this is the introductory video just to give you a bit of alert that there is something new coming to you. So thank you for watching, for listening to me and see you at the Unit 4. Bye-bye.